It's Brandon from Kickstart PPC, and today I'm going to be going over the blacklist and whitelist rules. So the blacklist rule will particularly help sellers that have a lot of auto, phrase, and broad match campaigns, because you'll be able to take a bank of keywords and apply it across the board. So it saves you a lot of time and stops you having to go into each campaign and input your negative keywords. The whitelist rule works for the negative targeting side. So say you have some automation running to add negative keywords in after a certain criteria, you can have certain search terms that are important to your business protected. So we're going to jump straight into that today, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So next step is to go from your dashboard to automation, blacklist and whitelist rules, and then from assign rule to blacklist and whitelist rules in this drop down menu here. And once you're here, you'll be on your product page. So you can see all of your different products and you can see how many negative phrase, negative exact, and whitelist keywords there are. So this account doesn't have any because it's a new account. We've just started working with it. So we're gonna add this in pretty soon. But to get this added, all you need to do is click this menu here on the right side and it'll come up with everything. So you can input all your exact match or your phrase for the negative uh, blacklist rule or your whitelist keywords in this section. So a negative exact would be something that you found in a search and report. Makes sense to negative it. It hasn't been performing for you. This is typically where you wanna find negative keywords. You don't wanna just be going on Helium 10, grabbing negatives off that because you don't know how your product's gonna perform on you know relevant keywords in your niche. But in the case that it doesn't work, you'll have that data in the search and report. You can apply that right here. Phrase match is a whole different ball game. This one is where you wanna be a bit more careful because you can get this from one keyword that could potentially impact multiple more keywords. So you wanna be careful with what you add here but say you have uh, different sizes of a product and one of them is jumbo. Jumbo is a word that you know you probably don't want to show up for most of the time. There's not many customers that are searching jumbo and then you know there's not too many things that make sense out of like food, for example. So you might want to negative phrase that. That makes a bit more sense. But do that at your own discretion. Look through the search and report see if there's anything turning up that doesn't make sense to be targeting and get that added. Now, for the negative word rule, you might be running this sort of automation or you might be doing it manually. But in the case that you're running this with the rule, you can use the whitelist rules here, which basically safeguards your rules from negativing one of your main search terms. So say you have one of your main search terms, which is like camera. Say you've got a different type of camera and you're, you're bidding on the search term camera, it's probably gonna be a high CPC keyword. So, you know, this might go negative it by default because maybe you're not getting the performance. I don't know what your rules are, what you're gonna set for the negative rules, but this will prevent that from happening on your list of keywords. So you can go in here and then that is in your list. So it's completely unrelevant to the product and you can see it's in there. So you can do this among all the categories, just press update and you're good to go. It applies it across all your campaigns, keeps everything in check, and it will probably boost your conversion rate as a result. Going into negatives is one of the ways that especially for non-exact match campaigns will really help you improve performance because there's a lot of search terms you can show up for, especially on a broad and auto, that probably aren't gonna be relevant for your product. Amazon recently made a change to broad matches, for example, that made their search more broad than it already was. So before, if you thought that was broad, a few months ago, they made it so you can go even more broad. So it's so incredibly important to be on top of this and be utilizing these rules on Scale Insights to make sure that your conversion rate for per product isn't being negatively affected by bad keywords because it's easy to miss a keyword when you're implementing it into different campaigns and you wanna make sure you don't. You wanna make sure it's all consistent, it's all across the board, and that's what you can use this for. So in the case that you haven't used Scale Insights before and you know this is the first time you're hearing about it, you're quite new to the software, we have a 10% off lifetime discount in the description. So if you sign up using our link, you'll get access to that. 
as well as a 30 day free trial. So you don't need to put your credit card in, you just load it up to your account and you're good to go. So in case that's any use to you, and for those who already do have Scale Insights and you're watching our video trying to find more information, well, we have a lot of Scale Insights videos on our channel. It's all free to watch. So if you subscribe, you'll stay up to date to all the Scale Insights and Amazon PPC related content that we come out with. We're releasing a lot of content, so it's gonna be a lot of good value to you. So definitely do it if you haven't already. And in the case that you have any questions, do feel free and leave a comment below. We're happy to answer any questions you have we respond to all the comments to these videos, so you know, let us know if we can help at all. And until the next video, have a good day. Bye.